Hello everyone, welcome back to Bay. So today we are gonna talk about one of the most important and non-skippable step in skincare routine that is sunscreens. So sunscreens are one of the most and you cannot skip it. It's one of the most important parts of skincare. So whenever you step out, you are exposed to sunlight, which is divided into visible light, infrared rays and UV rays in general out of which visible light is the thing that you see infrared you cannot see it but it's the heat that you feel and UVA UVB also are the rays that you cannot see but they are very powerful and extremely damaging to skin that is the reason we use something that can protect against UVA and UVB in specific infrared and visible light doesn't have any effect on the skin apart from the heat that you feel but uva and uvb are the are the culprits for everything that you face in skincare especially coming to signs of aging wrinkles early wrinkles dryness uh, low hydration in skin stretchy elastic feeling and you know of course dark spots a lot of stuff so that is the reason you need a sunscreen in your routine must and should the minute you step out and even if you are indoors uv and uvb are extremely short in wavelength and can travel to even like through the window into your room even if if it bouncing back on a wall it can still touch your skin in the same wavelength have the same effect that is the reason sunscreen at the minimal at least is also important to be worn in indoors as well if you have indirect or bright sunlight uh, no coming into your wind, uh, room or wherever you are staying unless you are staying uh, in a really dark room and you know you always have your curtains closed and stuff you cannot skip something that is protective against sunlight so basically sunscreen that is all about sunscreens now that we are done with the long ass intro we are going to dive into the best range of sunscreens that I have used ever in my life. There are two like one is a tinted and one is um, a regular sunscreen and one of the worst sunscreens I have ever used in my life. Now I am I started using a sunscreen when I was around 16 and I'm now I'm 32 like almost double that and that is saying something I have used each and every brand that you can take off I use Garnier I use Neutrogena I have used Lotus I have used VLCC I have used like I don't know how many different kind of sunscreens I've used I have used Kaya I don't know like you name it i have used that sunscreen so i i'm when i'm saying that these are the best i found i'm that means something because i have done an extensive usage of sunscreens some of them i did repeat because some of them i really like but there were few issues in them that i later on you know tried and tried and tried and tested other sunscreens and came up to these two which by far as far as my experience goes are the best in the market right now before we dive into it i have nothing against you know uh, chemicals or like you know proper uh, sunscreens where everything is mentioned uh, all that but these two in particular are not so uh, what do you say chemically they are clean uh, sunscreen the ingredients are extremely good for your skin in fact one of the sunscreen doesn't have any spf mentioned in it even then I have tested it for more than six months and I can vouch that it is one of the best. Now that is done, we are going to dive right into it. So the first very sunscreen that I am absolutely loving these days and I, it's like the best like if you, if the next sunscreen I am going to talk about is also one of the like the best, it's not one of the best, it's the best but this tops that. This is the Har Koi, I am, I am, I hope that I am pronouncing it correctly, Mineral Matte Sunscreen. Uh, you know, this is only then uh, Zinc Oxide, which, which is a fantastic, uh, you know, physical sunscreen. Uh, this literally is like holding an umbrella to your head against the rain, a physical barrier to 
the rain just like that this is a physical sunscreen now this is uh, how the packaging looks like i am uh, as i am showing you the swatch i'm going to go through with it so as you can see from the swatch this is how the packaging looks like uh, it comes in a white and blue packaging and you know this is how the inner packaging looks i'm everything is like showing up on the screen i hope and you know the shade that i am in is number 2 not my exact match but the shade 3 was slightly darker and this was slightly lighter it this actually i got when i when it was like winter and uh, that time it did match me perfectly even now it matches but just this very slight uh, discoloration whenever i have discoloration that part shows up a little slightly gray uh this particular shade i am absolutely loving as you can see on the screen i have just applied on half of my face and the coverage is fantastic like you have this you will not even need a bb cream in your life this is such a good uh coverage the sunscreen coverage is phenomenal i have used every tinted sunscreen in the market right now at least in the last one year whatever was available in the last time one year uh, forget about the new launches and this is definitely the best tinted sunscreen i have ever used i have used the lotus one i have used the requil one and few other brands and i have used bb creams also pons garnier you name it i have used it i have even used a spins bb cream if that counts and still this is the best when it comes to coverage bb creams are supposed to just you know even out your skin and you know nice and uh, you know make sure it's blurred and everything this even takes a you know a notch higher because this absolutely smoothens your skin upon application and you will notice a huge difference in the whole uh, darkness uh, anywhere you are having spots uh, dark circles darkness around the mouth type of pigmentation everything it will cover up to an extent like this is a buildable coverage sunscreen which i absolutely i'm amazed that i found this this is so smooth on the skin so velvety like it has a velvety finish it feels slightly oily like you know you may feel that but it is not it has such a beautiful velvet matte finish now the tint itself is not transfer proof you need something that will make sure it is transfer proof i usually use a makeup fixer to make it completely transfer proof so that's how i am using this sunscreen right now the whole makeup the base is the sunscreen i have not applied anything else only a little concealer around uh, you know uh, under my eyes a little concealer uh, to cover slightly the dark pigmentation that i have around my mouth rest of the base is the sunscreen and you ca can you see how good that is like this is a it, it's like natural uh, everyday kind of look that i have done today and you can achieve that with this one just as base you need not have a primer but that being said it clings on to dark patches uh, sorry dry patches i have one dry patch right here and right here and it's clinging very slightly to that so make sure you do not have dry patches make sure you exfoliate regularly and also if you belong to dry skin definitely use a moisturizer underneath if you belong to oily skin you need not even use a moisturizer you can just go for this and it will nourish your skin like a moisturizer and a primer and give you coverage like a foundation I absolutely what they said is what they did they uh, claim that you know they do that three in one thing and yes they do the in ingredient list is impressive like really impressive and absolutely love it i'm in the shade 2 uh, as you can see my skin looks so beautiful like i this is one of the best bases i had in like recent times i have used it this particular sunscreen i have used it in extremely humid cl climate which is a beach i went to a beach recently and i used the sunscreen just to test it out the whole day this was on of course i used a makeup fixer but the coverage was there till the evening and the tan of course it helped with that tan i didn't tan much as i would otherwise if i didn't have the sunscreen or any other sunscreen this really does help with the tan and you know more darkness and everything 
I absolutely loved it. I, I was surprised to see that it held even with all that sweat and one thing I love about it is that as soon as you apply, usually whenever I apply sunscreens, I sweat immediately. But this didn't. I didn't sweat even a bit. Especially right here, I sweat. But I didn't with Harkoi. And you know, it controls your sweat to an extent. I absolutely was amazed to see how much sweat it was controlling because I was in a very hot and humid climate and I didn't sweat on my face and my neck. I was like, okay that's like it's so good you guys so good the in ingredients list is impressive the price range price point also is very good now this retails for 700 but uh, for uh, like 30 uh, grams of the product but it like on discount you get it for much less price and it is worth every single penny and you will definitely like i i have been using this on and off since last uh, one month uh, sorry two months and then yeah but you will not leave much and it covers absolutely beautifully you can just apply this put some compact some blush and just you know a tint or something and then call it a day it's that easy with this one it's a beautiful product i definitely am impressed that they came up with so many shades there are eight shades in there and you know and they came up with so many diverse shades and i absolutely love i absolutely think this is the best formulation when it comes to tinted moisturizers tinted moisturizers tend to be slightly rough when you're blending but this blends like butter you cannot even feel the pigment it is that smooth smooth like butter like butter also doesn't even count it as that smooth like smoothest tinted sunscreen i have ever used you should definitely 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 try this one please do and i hope you find the shade in this you will absolutely love it how it feels every other bb cream will go out of your cupboard and this will remain i promise you the next product that we are going to talk about is my favorite sunscreen a regular sunscreen of all time this is the just herbs no sun jojoba you know uh, oil and wheat germ oil sun protection gel so this is how the packaging looks this is a 100 grams uh, bottle and comes with a pump packaging the product itself is like slightly light very 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 light bg yellow color and spreads immediately uh, without any trace whatsoever and then completely gets absorbed into your skin without giving any kind of white cast now this particular sunscreen doesn't have any spf mentioned on it unfortunately but this also is one of the higher uh, protection sunscreens i have ever used you can say that with experience because i have also tested this against chennai climate which is one of the hottest climates i personally know and i also come from a very hot place so this held throughout the day even in that heat and i could see the difference in my tan with and without it it is absolutely phenomenal and and i can understand why they may not have mentioned because they cannot judge how good this is i think this is almost like spf 60 or higher because how it performs my skin was absolutely fantastic when i used this throughout my uh, stay in chennai and oh my god i absolutely love this sits so well under makeup it is absolutely beautiful under makeup like really you use this it mattifies your skin down so much which is very essential when it comes to climates like chennai like you have made very hot and all and absolutely love it like as you can see it doesn't have any white cast it just blends completely into the skin actually have the swatch of uh, the harkoi one that's the reason you are seeing a slight tint but otherwise there is no white cast absolutely love it absolutely love it both this and this are the best you just choose if you want to go for a regular sunscreen or a tinter if you want get both of them i i am thinking of getting both of them always like I don't think I will need any other foundation if I have this, especially in the hotter climates. And I think I will need this in the colder climates when I'm actually having a good, uh, you know, 
i want to have a good routine of makeup and you you want this underneath that and it's gonna be so nourishing the ingredient list of course just helps is known for being very transparent about their ingredient list and very clean about their ingredients as well this is definitely a must buy from my side from just herbs apart from their lip and cheek tint which i've already reviewed you can go check that out and i'm gonna leave a link in the eye for you people so this is a 100 ml bottle most of the sunscreens come in 50 or 30 grams this is 100 grams now this is i think it retails for around 5.99 if i'm not wrong sorry 799 but on discount you always get it below uh, 600 or even sometimes uh, like 595 whatever 525 and this is a 100 ml so you are getting double of what you get in a regular sunscreen this uh, harkoi one is i think an uh, pa plus 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 if i'm not wrong i'm gonna leave all the details in the description box below for you people it's not mentioned on the packaging i think but it was on the outer carton if i remember i think this is spf 30 or something i will definitely mention in the on the screen and in the you know description box below so those two are the best sunscreens you will ever get in the market right now i am testing out other new launches uh, i think by there are some uh, i am right now i'm not able to recall the names but there are few tinted sunscreens uh, which were recently launched i'm definitely gonna try them out and then but then this is gonna set the bar really high for me definitely 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 check the sun mark and of course this one now now that is done we are gonna jump into the worst category and i right now have only one of the uh, sunscreens in the my worst category but it is worth that title of number one worst category sunscreen ever i'm gonna show you right now in a minute now that we are done with the best category of sunscreens tinted or otherwise we are gonna check out the worst ever sunscreen i have used in my entire life and this is the Moms and Co mineral based sunscreen <clears throat> and it's as you can see the packaging is itself is like it's so bad because I've just chucked it out uh, put it in my darkest part of my cupboard because I'm not using it I want to but I'm not able to it's just so bad the pump the packaging is a pump and it doesn't work I'll tell you why it doesn't work because the sunscreen itself is not liquidy i have to take it out like this to show you people and it's not liquidy it's like cream like cream product and a pump like that when it is this thick the product is this thick it's not gonna work i don't know if my bottle is faulty but as soon as i was like it's not coming out it's not coming out i was like that should have been the red flag but it was and and i went ahead and used it this is how the sunscreen looks like so innocent and white but this is like as you can see white paint on skin it is absolutely horrendifying to use this on my skin no matter how many times and no matter what kind of moisturizer i use beneath it just doesn't melt into will you look at that I, I think i can use this as a white paint literally like do you see that how much it's not gonna melt by the way it's not gonna completely mesh into your skin after a while after hour after two hours after five hours i have used this to my office one day it was on in the morning around at like 9 30 and even at six o'clock in the evening i could still see the white cast and that layer of sunscreen on top now that's that being said of course being since it is so thick and everything it's gonna be one of the best protector but definitely not comfortable to use because no matter what i do it just doesn't want to melt into your skin as you can see how horrible horrible that white cast is this is the worst the packaging of course it was a problem this should have been in a tube packaging it would have been better less messier and as as you can see i have to take it out like this and of course the white cast is horrible and it is a pa pa plus plus 50 spf which is good uh, in normal indian climate but 
definitely i'm not going to use this when it is like this just doesn't want to melt and everything anything you apply on top is not going to look good like the white cast is so horrible it comes through the makeup as well whenever you apply makeup on top it doesn't let makeup sit well it starts piling up the makeup starts spilling and then starts clinging to uh, certain areas and create be very patchy so it is not worth your money this is i think uh, yeah this is also is a 100 ml which is impressive and the price point is very good for this one this is a 474 rupees uh, sunscreen now i have tried using uh, this into my body lotions and then you know try and apply it whenever i put this into my body lotion and try mix it and apply it again the sunscreen will apply in patches and then you can see that even on your body in the like lotion after you blend it out you can see the patches it just doesn't want to blend into your skin nor into any other lotion or any other moisturizer whatsoever it it's like literally like putting trying to mix oil and water together it's never going to happen it just stays same it doesn't melt with anything else one of the horrible most horrible experiences i have had with sunscreens lately like it's been a while since i had this horrible experience and then <clears throat> this was a shock of a show as you can see it's still there like worst stay away from it like literally stay away from this do not waste your money on this it's not worth it i hope moms and co see this sees this video and then tries to do something about their this particular formulation it was horrible to experience i'm a fan of their vitamin c cream but this definitely is not worth your money for sure so that's it for the sunscreen so i hope you like the video this is all it for the sunscreens right now sunscreens no matter how much i talk it's gonna stay still you know unfinished because there's so much you can say about sunscreens but one of the most important things is to wear a sunscreen if you are going out or if you are inside your house even if you are inside your house choose a moisturizer that has at least an spf of 15 to start with and you know when you are out you can go for the higher ones at least choose a moisturizer with SPF 15 minimal so that you can stay protected even if you are indoors choose according for your, with your skin uh, type and everything Bo- both of these are are best both suited. of these are best suited this one for oily combination to oily skin this is definitely for oily to combination oily skin now if you belong to dry skin very dry skin there is a another lotion version of this this is a gel version there's a lotion version of this particular sunscreen you can definitely use this i have used it in my winter and i absolutely love it as well this of course there is no uh, very dry skin uh, you know version of it but you can use a very dry, uh, moisturizing uh, cream underneath and then use it on top so that you will have that beautiful luminous base to your skin uh, and also the spf factor so this is a fantastic sunscreen tinted and this is a very fantastic regular sunscreen one of the best in the market right now forget every tinted sunscreen you know and get this like you will be amazed i promise you you can come back and talk to me in the comments if you don't like this sunscreen i absolutely think none of you will have a problem with it really 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 like unless you have like super 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 sensitive skin and it's just going to react or anything but otherwise i don't think there is nothing in there that can react with your skin there is no fragrance there are no very harsh ingredients that can you know irritate your skin there is you know the squalene which will help with your with the calming of your skin there is zinc oxide it's not um, a chemical sunscreen either that you can fear that it can irritate it's not so definitely check this one out if you want one of the best sunscreen experiences ever and of course one of the best most natural looking makeup bases ever so yeah check this one out and that's it for the video guys i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you like the sunscreens and the of course stay away from the worst one and then i'll see you guys in the next one till then take care bye